How's it going guys, I'm Josh, and the only thing progressing faster than my hairline is my camera gear. So today, we're doing a what's in my camera bag video. Let's get it going. Let's go ahead and walk you through everything that's in my camera bag, starting with my actual camera. I'm using the 6D Mark II from Canon. It's a full frame camera with a flip out LCD screen, which is huge for me for the YouTube stuff because I need to see myself talking. And it's great for getting low angles, high angles, holding the camera at weird angles and not having to have your body up there with you. There aren't many other full frame cameras on the market with the articulating LCD screen, which is why I went with the 6D. Now, moving on to lenses, the newest lens in my family. This is probably my favorite lens of all time. It's what I'm using right now. It's the 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens from Canon. This lens is a monster. It's so nice having such a fast wide angle lens and you know, it's full frame and all too, which is great. Very sharp, only a little bit of vignetting on the corners when I'm super wide in an f2.8, but otherwise it performs beautifully. Just a great sharp lens. And I use it a ton for landscapes, for skate photography, for street photography, pretty much anything. This does me really, really well. Next off, we have my telephoto lens, which is the Canon 200 millimeter 2.8 lens. And I love this because it's a prime lens, which is a unique choice for telephoto shots, but I really wanted something that's super lightweight. And the 70 to 200 alternative is a lot more expensive and it's just super, super heavy. This lens is relatively light. I love it. It's just a good focal length to be shooting at. I love that it's fast and very sharp. Phenomenal, phenomenal lens. Then we have my 24 to 105 f4 lens from Canon, and I've had this for a long time. It's just a great all-purpose zoom. Really phenomenal for landscape shots during the day. It's a good sharp lens. My only complaint with it is that it's f4, so not very fast. After it gets a little dark out, it's pretty much useless. I wish if I could do it all over again, I probably would have gotten the 24 to 70 to 8 because I just love shooting at 2.8. Uh, it opens up a lot of doors that you don't have at f4. But still, this lens has done me so well. I've had it for probably six years now, and it's it's still phenomenal. Then we have Nifty 50. I recommend this to all beginners. It's just a great, fast, cheap lens, only a hundred bucks, and who could resist that? And it takes a great portrait, great for low light. It is still the fastest lens I have at f1.8. So honestly, phenomenal, phenomenal lens. Still carried around quite a bit. Next off, the bag. I get a lot of questions about this one. This is the Ona Bolton Street bag, and I love that it's dark, stylish, sleek, minimalist. And my favorite part about it is that there is no camera company logo on it because nothing says rob me more than having a big Canon logo slapped on your back. But I will say this bag is totally overpriced. I think it retails for $375, which is just too much money. Ono was nice enough to give this to me for free, which I really appreciate, but I, I, I think there are cheaper quality backpacks out there for camera gear. Talking audio, we have the Rode VideoMic Pro as a shotgun mic, which I use for all my videos. And then I recently got this lavalier mic from Tascam. It's super tiny, lightweight. I think the audio quality is six out of 10 good. It's not the best, but it's relatively cheap as far as labs go. And I've been doing some documentary work lately just as a passion project, and it's nice to have. Uh, the shotgun mic can't do it all. Next, let's talk filters. I shoot a lot of landscape photos, and filters are a crucial component of that, and they help weather seal your lens, because if you're shooting in the rain, I don't want to get my actual glass element wet, so a filter is really nice to use instead. So I use a couple different filters. Um, some of my favorites include the 10 stop neutral density filter. I also have a Firecrest split neutral density filter, which is great for shooting sunsets. This filter, as you can see, is dark on one part and light on the other, so it balances out the shot so you have an even exposure. It's basically just an alternative to shooting an HDR, and I think it's a solid, solid option. I also have some polarizer and UV filters, nothing too special here. I will say that I love my circular filters because you can just screw them on, they're lightweight, they're easy, versus the rectangular filters that you actually need an attachment for. And if you wanna learn more about filters, I actually have a whole video talking about how to choose the right one for you and breaking everything down about them. Link to that right over here. Probably worth mentioning my phone because I do do a lot of photography with it. I've been shooting with the iPhone XR lately. Always gotta carry some $2 bills because people find them delightful, confusing, surprising, all of the above. 
Next off for strap, I carry a Black Rapid cross strap, and this is a phenomenal investment if you're thinking about getting a new strap. I was going strapless for the longest time, but I realized I, I just hate the default strap that comes with cameras because shooting it around your neck is great for a lightweight camera like a tourist, but when you have a heavier lens, it just doesn't work like that. So it's actually really nice to carry it on your hip and then just slide it up really easily when you want to take a shot. Great for longer days of shooting. Side note, a couple of cameras I use that I didn't bring with me to New Orleans right now. I've got a Polaroid camera, 35 millimeter Canon A1, and a Canon G7X, just a pocket camera. Back to accessories, we've got tons of batteries. Got some SD cards, always too many SD cards. A little SD card holder, which is super helpful. I carry my very manly diary, not a journal, it's a diary, just to be clear. I use this for brainstorming on videos, keeping accounts of my travels, coming up with random ideas, and my deepest, darkest, most romantic secrets, naturally. I usually have an external drive on me. I'm really into the Lacey two terabyte external drives. They've been super reliable. Knock on wood has not failed me yet. Tripod wise, I always have this little mini Joby tripod, which is amazing. When you're on a long hike, you don't want to carry a super heavy tripod. Uh, it's a lifesaver, honestly. And then I also have my bigger tripod, which is the Manfrotto Be Free. And this is also one of those super light tripods that I can throw in my backpack. It folds up super small and take with me when I need it. I try not to carry this around too much just because any added weight sucks, but sometimes you need a full weight tripod. And this is a very light one, great for traveling. Couple random stuff, always have a reusable water bottle on me, super crucial. Always gotta carry a book on me. This one is about food in America, pre-World War II, pre-Depression era, back when things are more regionalized. Lens cloths and a lens pen. This is a very crucial tool for cleaning my lenses when I'm shooting outside, dealing with dirt, dust, rain, and spit occasionally. It's always great to have something to clean my lens front elements with. And, and a passport in case I need to flee the country at any moment. But not shown here, I always carry a couple paper clips, plastic bags, and rubber bands. They have saved my life so many times over. And that's just about it. Of course, I have plenty more camera gear laying around, but when I'm doing so much walking around the city or hiking, I wanna keep my bag as light as possible. So this is me trying to be a minimalist, and usually I carry about two thirds of what I just showed you. So sometimes I'll ditch a lens when I know I won't use it that day. Really anything to keep the bag as light as possible. Anyway, guys, if you're more curious about this camera gear, I'll have links to it in the description down below and on my website, link to that right over here. If you wanna see something interesting, you can check out my last two camera setup videos. In the first one I made, I was still using a Canon T3i, which is an entry-level DSLR. I still have so much love for that camera. Um, and it's been interesting to see the progression of gear as the years have gone on. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment letting me know what my next photography-related video should be. And to keep the theme going, here is a skate clip that I filmed recently. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you eventually.